Imagine being the most successful fighter pilot of all time, with more than 350 enemy aircraft shot down in World War II. Imagine being so feared by your opponents that they would flee at the sight of your plane. Imagine being nicknamed the Black Devil for your deadly skills and your distinctive aircraft. This is the story of Eric Hartmann, the legend of the Luftwaffe and the Ace of Aces. Eric Hartmann was born in 1922 in Germany and grew up with a passion for flying. He learned to fly gliders before he could drive a car and joined the Luftwaffe in 1940. He completed his fighter pilot training in 1942 and was assigned to the veteran Jagdgeschwader, or 52nd Fighter Wing on the Eastern Front. There, he was mentored by some of the best pilots in the Luftwaffe, such as Walter Krupinski and Adolf Galland. Hartmann's tactics proved to be highly effective against the Soviet Air Force, which often flew in large formations and lacked proper training and coordination. Hartmann scored his first aerial victory on the 5th of November 1942, when he shot down an Ilyushin Il-2 ground attack aircraft. By the end of 1943, he had 148 kills to his name, earning him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, Germany's highest military decoration at the time. But Hartmann was not invincible. He often damaged his own plane by flying too close to his exploding targets and had to crash land several times. He was also wounded twice by enemy fire, once in the head and once in the arm. He never bailed out of his plane, preferring to stay with his machine until he could find a safe landing spot. Hartmann's fame and reputation grew as he continued to rack up victories in 1944. He painted his Messerschmitt BF-109 with a black tulip on the nose, making it easy to recognize in the sky. The Soviets soon learned to fear this distinctive mark and would try to avoid him whenever they saw him. Hartmann used this to his advantage, lending his plane to inexperienced pilots to give them some breathing space while he hunted in an anonymous plane. By August 1944, Hartmann had reached 301 kills, becoming the first and only pilot to receive the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds, the highest possible award for a German soldier. He was also promoted to major and given command of IJG-52, a fighter group within his wing. Before we continue with Hartman's story, I want to ask you a favor. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to ring the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now back to Eric Hartman. As World War II entered its final stages, Hartman faced increasing challenges and dangers. The Soviets had improved their planes, pilots, and tactics, and were pushing back the Germans on all fronts. Hartman had to deal with more enemies, less fuel and ammo, and constant pressure from his superiors to keep fighting. Hartman achieved his 352nd and last aerial victory on the 8th of May 1945, hours before Germany surrendered. He shot down a Yakovlev Yak-9 fighter over Brno, Czechoslovakia, but was then attacked by two more Yak-9s. He managed to evade them and land safely at his base. Hartman then surrendered himself and his men to the Americans, hoping to avoid capture by the Soviets. However, he was soon handed over to the Red Army, who accused him of war crimes and sentenced him to 25 years of hard labor in prison camps and gulags. Hartman endured torture, starvation, and disease for 10 years before he was released in 1955. Hartman returned to Germany and joined the newly established West German Air Force in 1956. He became the first commander of Jagdgeschwader, 71 Richthofen, named after another famous German ace from World War I. He retired from the military in 1970 and died in 1993 at the age of 71. Eric Hartmann was a remarkable pilot and a controversial figure. His comrades and enemies admired him for his skill, courage, and charisma. He was also criticized by some for his loyalty to the Nazi regime and his role in the war. He claimed that he never hated his opponents and only fought for his country and his friends. He also said that he never enjoyed killing and regretted the loss of life on both sides. Oh, hey, want more adrenaline pumping fighter jet content? Don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the next thrilling flight.